Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we defeated Misty and continued on our adventure through the underground tunnel. And I spent a lot of your time going around looking for it. And I still haven't found them. So we're looking for items underneath uh, the, in the underground tunnel. And I still haven't found them. Seriously, there's supposed to be eight items. Let me weed them off. Let me go look those up right now. It's still recording. Oh, wait, it's not there. Never mind. Wait, never mind. I don't have them there. But there's at least eight items down there. Uh, they're all minor items. And they're not really all that much to say. But I can't find them at all. It's really freaking annoying me. But whatever. Moving on. Uh, Route 6. All the glass here... Oh. All the glass here has pretty much... Uh, I think Pidgey, Meowth... Oddish and Bounce Wild in uh, Leaf Green. Either way, I didn't even read that guy. What the guy said? He's that inconsequential to me. And yes, yeah, so all that grinding, as I said, was recommended before, but right now it's pretty much essential. I send out Bodon, but I have no use for that piece of crap. I'm abandoning it. Water pulse. No! You're kidding! Moshiga. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm very serious. Anyway, right up here. Citrus berries. What does citrus berries do again? I don't know about my berries, alright? I never use them. Uh, citrus berry. When held by a Pokemon, it will... Be okay, it's a better orange berry. 30 HP. Again, you can... Give it as a held item, or you can just use it as an actual HP recovery item. Uh, I might get used out of berries. Anyway, this is the opposite side of the underground tunnel. This asshole standing in our way. Well, actually, no, it's not. The underground tunnel is actually a lot bigger than it looks. But whatever. Uh, it's a path, because that's a different guy. I believe the guy was on the left last time. Either way, those lazy, thirsty assholes won't just let me through because they want a drink of water. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. I, I just want to challenge you to a battle. I suppose it all worked out. Camper Ricky. He has a Squirtle. A level 20 Squirtle. You should have evolved it by now. What the hell is your problem? Deku, get out here. Show this scrub who's boss. And oh, you purposely press the B button? Yes, if, you, if a Pokemon's evolving and you want to stop, just press the B button and it will stop. Anyway... Die! You don't belong in this world. Actually, you do, because I have one. I have a war total. Whatever. Now to beat up your girlfriend. Excuse me, this is a private conversation? I'm not even looking at you anymore. Ah, this lady who has... No, wait, it's not the same one. This is the one with the radical. I looked up everything before I came in here, so, so like I do every uh, episode, I just skim to the guide on a bubble pee. Cry chop action! Bye bye. I win gain 90. Why do you keep reading this? I forgot to say what we're gonna do in this episode. Oops. Uh, short way of saying it. Oh god, I just realized I have nothing to counter. Uh, uh, electric types right now. That kind of sucks. Mm. Sleep powder. <coughs> Honest, uh, honestly, no, I almost thought she was still here, making on an onyx pun. Now, uh, honestly, the party's probably gonna change a lot now, uh, as opposed to later on. I'm gonna assure you about half the party members here aren't gonna be staying. Like, I-Wing is probably gonna get boxed soon, just for the sake of- I'm gonna bust her out occasionally, maybe even level grinder in between certain episodes, just so I can, uh, catch things very, very easily, but other than that, I-Wing's not getting much use after this. Mostly because I'm probably gonna replace her with some already more efficient at a job. Uh, Bodon, getting out of the party. Umaro, he might just stick around for the sake of it. Deku, I don't know what to do. Eventually, they will all be replaced. Uh, 
I don't know. Anyway, I've never seen you around. Are you good? No, I am evil. <laughs> Elijah, eh? The Battle of the Island. Of uh, the Butterfly. Well, I'm just gonna make, cut this battle short by slowing you, by sleeping you. I'm smarter. Damn it! You gonna ah! Oh, refuse and paralyze. Damn you! And you, you. Oh, I snapped that execution. Now I'm back in it. You and your competitive smoke. Damn it! Does this thing even know an attack? Well, I suppose it knows confusion. That's a strategy. But if it was like Swagger up in this, well, then it wouldn't be that bad. You are too good. But no, no, no. He just has yeah, confusion. Well, whatever. You know, normally two trainers standing right next to each other would be a double battle, but no, this game has to emulate. I'm being really whiny in this episode. Either way, you know, this game has to try and emulate Gen 1 as much as it want, as much as it can, so, yeah. None of that, uh, new encounter crap. Actually, I believe I want right now. It depends on what. No, the female is the one that is first, so yes, I want right now. I, I did my research. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. It's not playing, kid. It's a real battle, kid. Man, bro, Isabel. Yeah, all she has is three Pidgeys. That's why I sent out Raiden. Oh, yeah, Raiden no slam in this episode. Come on, it's slam. And welcome to the jam. Come on, it's slam. If you want to jam. Jab, jab, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Get out. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What is when you've been on that side of the... When you've been on that side of YouTube enough, you, you just kind of get imprinted on the side of your... H your, your I almost said that side of your HP. The side of your mind. No, seriously. I, when I mean I'm getting rid of... Uh, Bird on. I mean, like, in this next area, there goes Bird on. Uh huh? You want to talk to me? No, I want to go by. Boom. Well, I look as I put my hand on my hip and point at you like I'm some boss or something. Oh, maybe I should have kept out a uh, Biden. You and your scrub Pokemon. Ah! Perfect. Thunder Shot. Radicate. Ooh. Radicate, the first of uh, the evolved form of uh Radita. Pretty decent Pokemon overall, but eh, I think I went over them already. Anyway, call it shop action! Kata! I think surprisingly small considering the spike. Anyway. I can be level 19. Like well, I'm keeping it around until he evolves or something like that. You'll sit around here for a while, but other than that, I don't really got much useful. Vermilion City. That's first things first. We gotta go up here. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The urge to battle with somebody you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I want to battle certain people again. Oh, again, over and over too. Uh, the Versus Seeker. This device that you find. You have to charge its batteries you use so pretty much after a hundred steps that will activate and that'll mean you were able to fight I I think one trainer that you fought before, uh, using using the versus seeker. It'll like it instantly uh, make them wanna battle you. So if I took a hundred steps and walked back into that old into that uh uh, what was it? In that route, that route six, I believe, that we just passed through. Uh, yeah, we would have, we would get a encounter from those douchebags standing by the door. Uh, stronger? What? Yeah, it's stronger than the one in the wild. Yes, 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 that is true. Is it true that a higher level Pokemon will become more powerful? But all Pokemon will have the same weak points against specific types. So they appear to be universally strong. No universally strong Pokemon. Uh, that is Bullocks. There are a lot of universally strong Pokemon. <laughs> My Pokemon reported Faint. Yeah, yeah, we already know about fainting when walking. I explained that like so long ago. Get with the program. Anyway. 
Oh, hello. I'm I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Fishing. Oh God, am I gonna make him a jab? Oh no, I don't wanna. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Grant, I like you, Sai. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. You gotta receive the old word. Well, the old word pretty much allows you to fish. I'm gonna show this off right now, because I can. Uh, you go to your bag. Uh, you go down to a dep you go down to the old rod, you use it, and you throw it over here. You wait, and if there's an exclamation mark over your head, uh, you'll be able to catch a, a wild water type Pokemon. Uh, the only ones that you can find, I'll pretty much go over them, but the only one you can find here is Magikarp. Well, I already have one of these. So, yeah, God, it's job action! Again, if you want to get a Gyarados, which is an amazing Pokemon, you can train up the Magic Up that you catch here, or, you know, the one you bought. My top go go. I'm putting up a, I'm putting up a building on this piece of land. I will own it all. My Pokemon is tempering the land to lay foundation. I think I'm gonna change the accent of every single fishing guru. Anyway, hey. What's this? Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans welcome. Well, I'm a Pokemon fan. But I'm gonna explore the place a bit more. Hello. Hi, do you have a Spearow? <laughs> you wanna trade it for my first pet? Would I? Yes, this is the first and only in game. One of the only in game trades I'll probably ever do. I don't want put on. Screw him. Alyssa. Bye bye, put on. Here, with the hypothetical Game Boy Advance. And, no, I don't actually want to use this Farfetch. Farfetch actually pretty much sucks. But, it is also an amazing HM Slave. And, this one is actually particular. You actually can get some use out of it. Uh, ching here. Thank you! <coughs> pretty much... Uh, ding here. Not only is it of a decent enough item, it actually has a held item. Uh, a held item that is... Yeah, not only is it... Yeah, it pretty much has everything that, uh, what the space had. Except for sand attack with it. And the held item is actually an exclusive, uh, item to, uh, Farfetch. It's called the stick. It will pretty much boost, I believe it boosts the critical hit rate of all of Farfetch's attacks. Honestly, I, I'm not going to use it as a party member, but I will use it as an HM slave. So, well, one of a few. <laughs> if only I could change the name. Oh well, I'll get over it. Anyway, now that that trade's done and I finally got rid of that useless bureau, goodbye, Bodon. Sorry. I know there's some fan out there who's like, oh my god, Bodon's my favorite. Anyway, we're going in here for we. Joe Pikachu! I won't, won't you admire my Pikachu's adorable tail? Yes, it's very nice. Yo! Oh dear, my tail is much more, it's far more tra attractive. By double, I would say. Then who? Me? Okay, so we need to be... Listen all, listen politely. Let's all listen politely to other trainers. That was just, just rude, calling me less ugly. Less attractive than a, a seal. If someone breaks, brag right back! Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. How vocal could he possibly be? Hello, good sir. I chair of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I am very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to hear about my Pokemon? Sure, why not? I'm an adult. Indulge you. Good, then listen up. My favorite Pokemon is Rapid Dash. It's huge, lovely, smart, plus amazing, you think so? Oh yes, it's, it, yes, it's stunning. Kindly, love it. Oh my god. Hug it with a sleepily warm and cuddly spectacular, but it's fire on fire. Oh my god, he's not stopping, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. <sighs> I kept you too long. 
<laughs> oh, 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 yeah, uh, too long, right. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Receive the bike voucher from the chairman. Put the bike voucher in the... Yeah, take the bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite... My favorite pharaoh will fly me anywhere I need to go. I thought you said your favorite was Rapidash. Or is it your favorite pharaoh as you have a bunch of them? So I, yeah, I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Now I'm half tempted to go back there now. I might just do that quick. Anyway, here's the gym. You need to cut. So therefore, no gym. Okay, goodbye. Korokuyu! Korokuyu! I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I sent my Pidgey to the Union Room to exchange mail for me. Mail, useless item. Dear Pippi, I hope to see you soon. I hear Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Million appears to be safe. Getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Well, that's very productive of you, young sir. Anyway, Million City Harbor. Pretty much down here is where we need to go next, but uh, I'm gonna clear out the place for my. It's a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion once every year. Uh, we need to go here next. We need to uh, use our uh, SSN ticket to go through here next so we can get a specific HM move. We blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon. The tour through Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. Well, this isn't Rock Tunnel, but it is Diglett's Cave. Actually, you know what? I saw an item. Must have. An awakening. Sweet. Anyway, as I was saying... Here we have... Diglett's Cave. Well, if this is right, Diglett dug this long tun tunnel. It runs to Viridian City, they tell me. Oh, does it? Diglett's Cave only has two encounters. Diglett and its evolution, Dug Trio. Diglett is actually a very good ground type. Actually, I've decided I decided I want to pick it up. Maybe even make it a permanent party member. I like Diglett a lot. Now uh, there's one. Anyway, uh, you might be saying, okay, we can pick up a Diglett, but couldn't I just go and pick up the, uh, or like at least encounter? Ah, Wiener Trap. Damn it. You should have thought about that. Uh, its ability, uh, Arena Trap, makes, makes it so I can't switch out at all, so it can, in theory, if I was fighting a trainer, it can switch out, but I cannot. So yeah, I'm in a bit of a predicament right here. Actually, I don't really want a female to die! Oh crap, magnitude 9! Okay, anyway, Diglett's are actually pretty good Pokemon. It learns a lot of good ground-type moves, it even learns pretty good rock-type moves. It has a lot of speed, a lot of attack, it's overall great. The only problem about Diglett's cave right here is that it, it, if you run into a dug trio, it will rape your ass. Freaking hard. You will not stand a chance. Unless you have a flying type. <laughs> like, seriously, it, it. In a previous playthrough, or at least of my Leaf Green playthrough, and yes, Diglett is available in both. Ooh, a level 22. Wait. Damn it, I can't switch out. Damn you, Diglett? Ah! Well, there goes me. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, this Duck Trio, <laughs> Duck Trio is way faster, way stronger, and way too powerful you, for you. You will pretty much crush anybody who isn't a flying type. And yes, flying types are immune to ground type moves. Uh, that magnitude attack, yeah, uh, it says like magnitude 9 or stuff like that. It will actually say different ra magnitude at random. Uh, depending on what it says, depends on the power, uh, is determines its power. If it's magnitude 6, it'll have 60 power. If it's magnitude 9, it has 90. If it's magnitude 10, 100. It's pretty random and not very reliable, but what are you gonna do? Dug a hole. It knows Dig. Ah! Dig is a two-turn attack. It pretty much allows one turn you spend on the ground, which allows you to avoid attacks and all that lovely stuff. Uh... And the second turn is an, uh, an outright attack. Uh, where you... Oh god, he's fury attack. Uh, it's an outright attack where you attack with a ground type uh, attack. A physical ground type. Oh, it really shoots out. Anyway, catching. I want this Diglett. No, 
already level 22, which makes it the highest person I have on my party. Come on. Aw, oh, yeah! Diglett was caught. Diglett's data was added to the Pokedex. It burrows through the ground at shallow depths. It leaves waste dust in its wake, making it easy to spot. Again, I kind of want to run into a duck trio, but I kind of don't because it's going to absolutely destroy me. Anyway, I have a name for this guy. I'm going to call him... Where's that? No, I can't use those, can I? Oh, well. Monte. Monte was transferred to Bill's PC. I'll go pick him up later. Anyway. Boom, boom, whoa. Oh, crap, no! No, I didn't! You put, oh, no! Double team, damn it! Oh, God! I kinda wanna catch it. It's level 29! Jesus! <laughs> oh, God, no, please, God! You see this madness? I'm gonna get destroyed, aren't I? And you can't run, either. Yeah, you see? Uh, I'm pretty sure, no, no, you can run. Jesus, it, it, honestly, if you run into the Duck Trio, you, you damn it, you really should try to catch it, but honestly, ugh. <laughs> God, if I didn't run away there, I would have been destroyed. Okay, now I'm just getting sick of this. Please go away. Ugh. Can I not run? Really? Maybe I should use my repel. I don't know, even know why I'm so hard set in getting through this place. Anyways, let me go on. All I wanted to do is that and didn't go back to the million just to see, just to show you that you can. So, I suppose that's a bit redundant. Repel, give me. Which pretty much is ensuring I'm only going to be running into high level Diglett. Okay, one side rock tunnel, but it's just pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Yeah, that could be useful. Anyway, Route 2, where we can come over here, and here's another in-game trade. Painted Pokemon has no energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is, if you have a Pokemon Abra, you can trade it for Mr. Mime. I don't really like Mr. Mime, it's not really useful. Eh, a third-rate psychic type. You can get much better psychic types in the game. And it doesn't really get much of it, do much of anything. The only real benefit it gets is that it, in Generation 6, it becomes part fairy type. But then again, so does Gardevoir, so... What do you got to say? Uh, uh Don't get this guy, it kinda sucks. Anyway... I'm gonna say no to that because I don't have an Abba. No, I would have traded it for just Pokemon, Pokedex stick. But he just says I can't use Apple either. You know, repels facts one out. That is a good way of timing uh, the rematch thing of a jig. Uh, the versus record, not the versus recorder, the uh, versus seeker. Uh, you use a. Uh, please let me go. I mean the trap is as bad as Shadow Tank. Oh, there goes my pill. Please let me out. Let me go. Oh god, please. Oh, yeah, yeah I did go over ground typing. Ah! Please let me out of this hellhole. Die! Jesus! Whew! Anyway, there's a bunch of battles over there. I don't know if I should do those right now. I know what I am gonna do. I'm gonna switch out my, uh. What's it called? For my what's it called? And by that, I mean, I'm gonna go put in. I'm gonna go put Diglett in our party. Because I plan on actually using Monte here for a long, long time. So, get used to his face, because he's kind of important. Nobody actually knows what a Diglett looks under. It's like under there. But either way, that doesn't particularly matter. 
Anyway, uh, what do you got to sell here? Potion, football, normal stuff. Alright. I can sell this nugget for a bunch of money. $5,000. Sweet. Oh, crap. Let's go, but don't cheat. I would never, Eddie. Atkins. Whoa, what's this Atkins? I win, get up in here. Confusion? I'm gonna clear out these trainers quick here. I just became, I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. I'm sure you can, Dylan. See, Dylan can be a name. Hey, Jermation. Doesn't even know about Dylan. Honestly, you won't be seeing much of I Wing after this, Chief. After this episode. As I do plan to replace it. Like, it might stay around for a little bit while, and I will bring it out whenever I want to catch a Pokemon. So that is something that you can always win a win loser for. Gamer Hugo. We like the battle. Actually, with no translation, these were gamblers. In the poly world. Uh, as I brought up earlier, we've already been, uh, we've already went over this guy, so it doesn't particularly matter. Oh crap, hypnosis. You know what? That was a revenge. Wake up. Yeah! How does it feel? I'm gonna go of your HP to death. I'm gonna bullet feed you. Ah, oh, suck it. Horsey. Uh, I already went over with Horsey earlier. Uh, good Pokemon overall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Deku's evolving! Already? Sweet. Well, that was a surprise. I didn't think it evolved so early. This is the second evolution, and it's of Deku. Well, and I've decided to use Vileplume. Ah! The hell am I looking at? Gloom <laughs> is really. Uh, gloom out. It depends on me. Watch out for live wires. Oh, Engineer Boonie. Magnemite. It was actually a steel type. One of the very few yeah, available in the main game. He's a steel and electric type. Uh, it's just a case where it's, uh, typing was changed. Oh, a magneton. Uh, it was type was changed between Generation 1 and Generation 2. It's a really good, it's an okay Pokemon. It doesn't really hit its stride until Generation 4 where it becomes, ma where it gets a third evolution in Magnet Zone. But it's okay. You can use it. It's pretty decent uh, electric type. Competition can't get enough. Uh huh. Bell sprout up in here. He's a little tip guy. You can tell when I don't plan on using a Pokemon in the long run. When I stop. When I stop. The level start lagging behind everybody else. Hey, guy. Oh, a hypno. No, a drowsy. What am I saying? Not a hypno. No, a drowsy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, a decent enough psychic type. Actually, I might even catch this guy. Karate chop. Done. Okay. Ha. No confusion, too. Ah, that's insomnia. It won't sleep. Sun's board. Ha! Ah. That's two party members in one episode. That's actually a pretty good game. Ah! Drowsy was caught. The descendant of a legendary animal, Baku, which said to eat dreams, is killed at hypnotism. 
That boss. Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, might have to look that up right now. Unprofessional, I know. Uh. Who what would it be again? Boo would it boop a boop a doo. Ah! Now I remember! I remember! I remember! The name of that box... Boss is what I'm gonna name this guy. Lexo! Another Final Fantasy reference. I really gotta stop this right now. Because he exists in a dream. Lexo! I'll probably get him levels up with the rest of them. With the best of them, stuffer than nup, knuckles down, or stuffer than let, leather, uh, and all that. Happy jazz. And I'll probably join, put him in the party in place of whatever I wing here. So that's two already. I'm getting kicked out of my party. Anyway, dig. Bam! Monte he is going to be an absolute monster. Hey, look at Ido Eno! Sweet! Ido Eno's design is amazing. I like this guy a lot. Bam! Suck it! Monte is going to be an absolute monster. Uh, no pun intended. An X defend. Useless. X items. All they ever do is boost your stat the stats of your Pokemon for one battle. They're absolutely worthless. They only spend a ton of you wasting your time. I mean, a lot of moves can just do that for better, more fit, for better efficiency. Careful, I'm laying down some wire. Magnemite, eh? Monte, deal with this guy's case. Bam! I have never won before. Well, that's not very reassuring in your case. Ooh, a Growlithe! Growlithe is an amazing Pokemon! One of my absolute favorites. It evolves into the mighty Arcanine via Firestone. And it's also one of very few Pokemon to learn the move. You know, what was it called? Uh, Stream Speed. It's super powerful. It actually, it's actually better physically oriented, but it could be a very decent mixed attacker. I love the guy. If you can pick it up, use it. It's amazing. Actually, I might use it myself as my go-to fire type. But later, when we can find them. Either way, that's all I gotta say. Rock to him. Bye-bye. Oh, he's still alive. And he's fast as shit. I should remember. I should mention that. Ooh, and Volpix. Volpix is another really good Pokemon. By the way, these are also exclusives. No, uh, Volpix is Leaf Green, uh, Growlithe is Fire Red. Volpix is more specially oriented than, than uh, Growlithe, but all around is pretty much just the flip side of Growlithe. If you're playing Leaf Green, pick up a Volpix, it's totally worth your time. That negates the ability to out, which instantly uh, gives Sunny Day. No, I don't know if that's his hidden ability. Anyways. Escape rope, sweet. Now I didn't actually check to see if uh if uh what was it? Ooh, a great ball. I didn't actually check to see what was in this grass, so I don't even know. I have never lost! No, the complete opposite. He has a Voltorb. Awesome. I like Voltorb. Really? Yeah! That's more like it! Focus energy. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, focus energy. It, it, it's actually a move that's bugged in the original game. In the original Fire Red and Leaf. In the original Red and, and Blue. Because you couldn't actually raise your critical hit ratio. For whatever reason. It would always lower it. Dude, it would actually be a terrible move to have. But for right now, sure, why not? 
It was scratching with it. The first thing we focus on is Magnemite. Bam. Never lost ever. My first loss. Uh huh. Whatever. Oh, this is one you can actually pass by. But look at that. They're not gonna be douchebags about it. But, Snorlax. It's hitting in a way. We'll go over Snorlax later, but at the mo meantime, we can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, I know it's a hard way. Yes, yes, the name later. I'll explain that when I get there. I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorina. Wanna trade it for my Nidorina? No. I'm good. Oh, me. Hey, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's eight. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> oh, the item finder. Gather data of at least 30. 24 kinds. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna go on a catching spree in between episodes. Even then, uh, we, we, by the time I come back here to move the sto Snorlax, I'll probably already have it. But I'm just saying. That's incentive for catching as many as you can. Either way, we've explored this area. I'll come back to tell you what. Uh, oh, damn it, Deku. Sleep powder. Sleep powder. Sleep powder. Sleep powder. Eradicate. I ain't afraid you eradicate. Bam. Why is it taking these hits so well? Honestly, whatever. I'ma kill you, Yasu. Yasu got me high. No, uh, that's a Persona 4 reference. Anyway, I've cleared out every single trainer in this damn place. Uh, just for the sake of doing that. And if you want, I will come back and tell you what Pokemon are specifically available in that route. But in the meantime, I pretty much got everything done. Everything I need to get done. I'll level up, uh, uh, Rexol off the screen. And, yeah, pretty much that's it. This is the end of the episode. Okay, guys, so... Thank you guys for watching, and in the next episode, uh, we're gonna go... I'm gonna, you know, as I said, explain which Pokemon are available on that route we just went by. And we're gonna go explore the SSN. Hopefully get... Uh, fight a lot of battles and maybe get something out of it. Who knows? Anyways, like, subscribe, all that happy nonsense. And, yeah, but, uh, thanks guys. See you guys next time.